So I'm a huge fan of Prowl, especially his design. I've really always loved this police car design. The uh, I believe it's a Datsun originally, and then even to the animated motorcycle, I think he's always got like a really cool look. But unfortunately, I don't think every figure is a win necessarily. Um, this guy down here, we're gonna be taking a look at that, unfortunately, and not these guys, not for today at least. Um, so this guy is a deluxe. Uh, Transformers Universe figures this is from, uh, I believe, 2003. Uh, and, you know, the car mode is actually really nice. It's not terrible. Uh, mine has yellowing on it. Um, that's just something that happens with white vehicles a lot, especially with Transformers. Over time, if the storage is not right or too many hand oils or something like that, bound to happen. Uh, he is missing little accessories that are attached to the sides here, but that's not really what I want to talk about so much uh, anyway, so I'm not really missing out on that. But for the car mode, we do have a cool uh, fin going on here. I dig that, especially with the adjustable parts at the back, uh, the lights on the front. I have no complaints really about that. It's even got like some headlights, details. Uh, overall, I think this car mode is one of the better car modes specifically. We even have rubber tires, and look, they got like the design of a hubcap there with pinned wheels. Really not bad at all. Even look at the uh, headlights. They kind of, they're see-through plastic. Uh, what do they call it? Clear plastic. There you go, whatever. Um, and for the front, you can see the transformation mode, you know, you can see some parts of the robot going on in there, but they also kind of added seats too. So it's like the bottom of his feet, I think, but they look like little seats for the car. So that's not terrible. Uh, it's once we start transforming them, well, even what look under there, you'll be able to see this is not a great figure, but it gets worse and worse the more that you, uh, look further into it. So let's start the transformation real quick and uh, show you guys the robo form. That's where he really hits the uh, downward slope for me. So here we are in robo form and Oh my god, I, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. So, basically, let's just take a look at the overall design. I don't, I don't like it. Um, now, you could argue maybe this is supposed to kind of give, like, Bayformer's design, which, or maybe even Armada or something, so you could give it a little bit of slack there, especially I'm feeling Bayformer's with this weird face, because I don't know what's going on there. It looked like some sort of mangled mess. Um, but then, in addition, he looks like he's wearing a weird cap. Ah, I just don't dig that. It's got a very small, flat head. So, ugly-ass head, in my opinion. But then these giant, hulking shoulders, which, if you do that right, it can be pretty cool. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say this this does not look cool. That just looks like extra kibble. It's in literally just entire back sections of the car. But then it gets worse. So, literally, we have these giant-ass doors hanging off of his sides. And I don't... I guess get this out of the way real quick i don't know how to conceal these any better because you can kind of shift them off to the sides of his legs here but i don't know that doesn't look much better in my opinion he's just permanently got this weird like skirt thing going on so even if we like switch it to the back maybe nah it just i can't find a way for this to work and then in addition it's made out of clear plastic so you know that's going to break over time. It's all painted up, which they did a good job painting overall. That's not so bad. Um, this chest emblem is kind of an interesting choice, too, having it reflective. I, I do like the use of chrome, but I just, it looks cheap to me. This looks like some much, much cheaper uh, toy line. Not it doesn't feel Transformers to me. It feels like McDonald's Transformers or something. Uh then we get these spindly legs, which it's not the worst legs. Let me focus. It's not the worst legs you can get. It's just there's nothing really going on there. Ugly ass back, very kibbled up here. So this is all tucked away back there, and you just hulking parts of car all over this guy. And then he has these like chest guns that swivel out here, which I don't like at all. It's, titty guns just don't really do it for me. I guess you can just change them up however you want. Like, maybe if you want a bigger chest look, or if you want to dangle them downward, whichever way. But then the worst part absolutely is, I guess you could call this an arm shield, this piece here. 
is literally the entire back half of the car, minus these parts that are hanging on his shoulders. Um, and this does not work at all for me. You can switch it around so you can put stuff in his hands so you can have it underneath. So you can use his hand or you can have it inward, which doesn't really work for anything. You can have it on the outside, which is more like the shield mode. I just cannot work with this guy, my goodness. Uh, as for art articulation, he has a lot of articulation, but I just don't feel like it ever works too well for posing. Um, like, especially though, his head only has swivel. That's a not a good start to any articulation, in my opinion. The shoulders can move up and down, very restricted at the top there, obviously, but it can get quite far out there. Then it also has this hinge going in and out, so he can reach inward pretty good. Uh, his elbows have really good forward, but also like all the way backward too, uh, and then a ball joint, but the proportions on here, having this tiny little bicep hang off the shoulder and then this tiny little forearm, it does not work for me. There's no wrist articulation. Um, then in addition, on the other side, all that articulation is a little more hindered because there's this big blocky piece up here, which then you can consider that an articulation point too, I guess, this thing swifting around. Ah, oh boy. And then uh, no waist articulation at all. That's all limited because this giant skirt piece they got going on here that's on ball joints, which, oh my god. I just hate this. I hate this look. I guess, are they going for some sort of a Japanese cop look, I assume? We do have Japanese symbols on the side, which I believe is Japanese. Uh, it looks cool on the car mode, but then here it just, I'm not digging this look. Uh, for the legs, we're all limited because it's all blocked up by this, unless you're like scooting it around, I guess. Uh, but, you know, he can kick forward, restricted by this because of the wheel hitting that. Uh, he can kick out about that far. And then if you want, you can extend his body downward more and get all of that articulation free, I guess. But we don't really don't really do that normally. Uh, the knees, very restricted, can't do a full 90. He can't really do anything dynamic with that. Can't really get him kicking forward too far either, really. Uh, you can get him a split, so you got, got that going for him. Uh, front split. And then he's got ball joint ankles, which is a fair amount of articulation backward. A um, little bit of, no, eh, kind of, kind of a little bit of a rocker pivot so you can get him in a little more of a wide-legged stance. But, so, despite having a lot of articulation, it's all gummed up and it's all stuck up by this big blocky pieces everywhere. And then the... The nerve to have so many exposed screws on the front of the toy, man. Like, none of that's hidden, none of that's tucked away. That's just all on display. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. We have, like, internal robot workings, I guess, on display in the clear plastic there. So, I cannot stand this figure, personally. Uh, I don't think he displays well. I don't think he articulates well. Uh, but... The only thing he has going for him, I will give him, he does have a cool car mode. Basically, if you want the, a figure like this, or if you want him, just never transform him. You'll be disappointed. And just for example, let's put him alongside, this isn't the best figure on earth, but we have 86 Prowl here, which I think is a pretty, pretty decent Prowl figure. And yeah, he just looks so much more cool. I don't know. Like, this one here just has the look of Prowl. It's everything that I want. This one here, you can't really call that Prowl, can you? I don't know if this is in a one of the cartoons or something, but if it is, I hope it looks a lot better than this toy does. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.